happy day. I'm good. <laughs> I'm gonna get my hands pretty dirty today, and I don't care what happens to me as a consequence. Today we're gonna talk about a mess, okay? There's There's been a series of oopsies lately. We're gonna talk about a girl named Ellie. She's a gamer. In fact, she was so good that she peaked at number four on the ladder in North America. Number five here, she peaked at number four. Pretty fantastic. And Ellie was actually picked up by one of the top contenders teams in North America called Second Wind. You would think that people would be happy about it, but they weren't. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm, they weren't happy at all. What's not to like about a 17 year old girl who pops out of nowhere and is instantly just destroying kids on the ladder? People were flaming her, saying she's fake. People were leaving her games. My very good friend, actually maybe one of my best friends, he's the GM of the Houston Outlaws, tweeted, too many degenerates in Overwatch to be honest. Some girls started talking and people literally abandoned my ranked game. I'm realizing the female player base might have significantly higher SR if they didn't have to deal with morons throwing their games for existing. I, I haven't played Overwatch in a little while. Uh, <laughs> Why I, I not? It's so it. much fun. It, this is this is starting to draw me back in. If this is the kind of shit going on in there, I'll, I'll hop in the soap opera. Well, it's a good thing that we've got our girl Ellie. It's a good thing that despite all of that, Ellie came out of nowhere and was destroying. Now I would show you her Twitch VODs, but unfortunately, they've all been deleted. <laughs> Zero clips. Almost all of the evidence of Ellie has been deleted. Now this is a female girl gone gamer, gone conspiracy, gone complete mess. The toxicity, <laughs> it got pretty bad. People threatened to dox her. In fact, a guy named Haunt said, people in contenders need their first and last name leaked. Pretty much, right? Like, like, if you're in contenders, your first and last name will get leaked, right? And people are like, yeah. And he was like, okay, let's. Well, it's doxing time, not for malicious intent, just to figure shit out. So if someone just came out of nowhere saying they're like a four-year-old prodigy, I'd want like proof. I'd want to know about it, but I wouldn't also be, you know, checking mailing address and trying to hunt them down to confirm their <laughs> identity or looking at birth certificates. That's some elite galaxy brain gamer <laughs> right there. Unfortunately, due to some unforeseen reactions, Ellie was opted to step down from the team. We hope you continue to support her and her ventures in Overwatch as we will. Very sad. Very, very sad. Every, the whole internet cried. We all cried. I cried. You cried. Kotaku cried. They wrote an article about it. Overwatch Pro quits after harassment whether she was really playing. Isn't this just the most sexist thing you ever heard in your, in your whole life? Is your pitchfork ready? Is it? It better be. Because this is pretty sexist. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, the story isn't what we thought it was. There's so much talk up around this Ellie person, right? Um, Ellie is not Ellie. Okay? Ellie is not Ellie. Ellie is actually Punisher, and he told me yesterday. Yeah, Ellie is Punisher. He did this for like a social experiment thing and did not expect it to get out of hand, so. That's kind of the juice around that. That's all the juice. I don't know how to, I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> okay, you're hyping me up for the bad news, getting me the water and sitting me down. <laughs> yeah. Right. What, what do you, put what my do dog you think, down. what do you think the twist is? You put your own dog down. <laughs> Jesus. All right. You're going to give me the scalpel. If I had to guess, I'd say like following like standard internet shit, Ellie probably never existed in the first place. It was all made up. My messiah turns out to be a guy playing on a girl's voice team. She turns out to be fake. So the question is, everyone who is skeptical about this girl, are they sexist or was it a fair, was it a fair assessment? Now this is a pro player, Defren. He's in a game with Ellie. She's Reinhardt right now. And this is what he says. This is before the news came out. Dude, what I think is happening right now is someone is playing on this account and Ellie is talking right beside him. So Defran was right. Does that make him a sexist? Or, I mean, he was right, so maybe he's not sexist. There are some factors that I feel like a lot of people don't pay attention to because maybe they don't play the game. Maybe they just write articles about how sexist the game is. Ghostly Gabby, who is a Grandmaster player on Overwatch, tweets, I think people need to realize that a large amount of the harassment the Ellie person received wasn't due to sexism. It was due to genuine suspicion of her peers because high SR ranked ladder is a lot smaller than some of you might think. The top 500 is quite a small community. 
everybody knows each other. And every time someone makes a smurf or changes their account name, people say like, who are you? Even when Ellie was playing on Ellie and nobody knew it was Punisher yet, a peer recognized the Doomfist play and movement to the point where he called it out. Was he sexist for thinking this? It's not that a girl who's unbelievably good at Overwatch is an unbelievable thing. It's that if someone pops out of nowhere, people will say, where did this person come from? Not because they're sexist, but because the game is very nuanced. The game takes a long time to learn, and usually people who play at this level have a very deep understanding of the game. On the toxic end of the spectrum, they're all like, we were right. We knew that like a girl couldn't be this good. And on the women's <laughs> right side, they're like, we were right. We knew that women have it hard. And so like, it just makes the divide even deeper. There is no closure for either side. It <laughs> no. There was no point. The only reason why I could even begin to think that this would be, ever be a good idea is that if by playing as Ellie, I got that spot. That would be, that's the only outcome that would make sense to go through the trouble because there's nothing else you could possibly expect. So you, just, you would go all the way through with it. You would wear a wig and show up to practice. Oh, fuck yeah. I'd be giving over the pants hand jobs whatever I needed <laughs> to do to reach that level, yeah. Was Punisher trying to prove that it's hard for girls, or was he trying to prove that he couldn't make the team with his name, but if he becomes a girl, then he will make the team? Pretty fishy, but it gets fishier than that. But the question is, why did they pull off the social experiment? So there's this from Haku, the captain from Second Wind. The captain for Second Wind said, females should not be in my 4500 Grandmaster games changed my mind. He got in a lot of trouble for that, and he had to issue an apology. Haku apologizes on the 15th of December. Ellie comes into existence on the 16th of December. Have a good day, chat. The plot thickens! Maybe Punisher thought Second Wind has been getting so much bad PR for sexism lately that if I make a girl account, I won't even have a background check. They're just gonna let me right in if I'm a girl. Maybe he thought that he was going to be a champion of the women. The victims of your little social experiment are women because people are gonna doubt women in the future because of what you've done. I don't need men making social experiments to prove that women can game. And I don't need uh, angry feminist authors saying that the entire system is rigged and women aren't allowed in. I don't think we need either of those things. It's absolutely unacceptable for members. Okay, I shouldn't read it in that voice. Well, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> That's definitely the voice of the person who writes for Kotaku these days. The first article was Overwatch Pro quits after harassment, whether she was really playing. Oh God, women have it so hard. Esports is not a meritocracy. It's a male dominated scene in which gender essentialism runs rampant. I find that to be Extraordinarily offensive! Does the writer of this article even play games? Do they know anything about how it works? Do you really think that saying stuff like this is going to encourage women to join esports in absolute droves? Do you think convincing the general public who don't know anything about esports that all men who play games are hard-headed, women-hating buffoons, do you think that helps? Did you know that one of the most legendary StarCraft games of all time was between a Korean player named Bomber and a transgender woman named Scarlet? A queen falls, but Scarlet on the regroup is... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The crowd at their feet! Scarlet, the most incredible game I have seen in DVT! I just eventually thought, I've never gone bro. I don't think you'll expect it, and it works. Both Gegury of the Overwatch League, who is a female, and Scarlet of StarCraft, who is a female, have both said that they don't like attention being drawn to them because they're female. You don't have to bring up that they're girls all the time. You can bring up the harassment that they've gotten because they're girls if you have a tangible example of that happening. But to make definitive statements about esports, I think that that's just disgusting. Disgusting. The thing with Gegory is like, she is super legit and she is, she was like uh, one of the best Zarya's in the Korean ladder and she was accused of hacking so many times that uh, a few pros said they would quit if it turned out that she wasn't hacking. And then they ended up having to quit. Did they actually quit? Like they stuck <laughs> yeah. to it. Yeah, they, they don't had play to. Anymore. No, they don't play anymore.
Wow, you know what? <laughs> Hell yeah. I respect <laughs> that they stayed true to their word. They yeah, fucking, me too. They, they chose a hill to die on. They fucking died on that hill. I like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, they did. Women aren't weak. Women don't need to be protected. I've been gaming my whole life. I've been just fine. I've been vulnerable on the internet. I've worn provocative things on the internet. And I'm just fine. Nothing is keeping me from doing the things that I love. In fact, when I win a game on Overwatch, there's no announcement that says this is a boys game, negative 25 SR, like that, that doesn't happen. And I don't like, I don't like doing the whole as a woman thing, because I don't think it's necessary. I play games all the time. Granted, I don't play at the Grandmaster level. I've played in every single rank in Overwatch except for Grandmaster. I use comms regularly, and uh, there's, there's really, uh, I've really not had a problem. Granted, I don't get offended really easily, but maybe you should stop getting offended so easily and just have fun and do, do the stuff you like. Why don't you smile, huh? You hate women. Yeah, obviously. <sighs> Same, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hard not to. Like, all the Stacys just go for Chad's anyway. Like, why even try, you know? Wow. Yeah, why would you go for a Stacy when you can get an Ellie? And then I really just don't understand what the point was in any capacity, except maybe nudes. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> it? It all ties back to nudes. That's this detective's <laughs> intuition. So the old saying that, you know, well, I mean, it's not an old saying. I just made it up right now. But, you know, they always do it for the nudes. Is that true? In this case, Gloom, I do think so. <laughs> you can mark these words, put them on the parchment. I'm saying Punisher did it all for some good old titty pictures. I'm calling it.